starting out warm ups. Warm ups. 45 minutes of jumping jacks is what we're going to do. We're not going to do 45 minutes of jumping jacks. I would be exhausted in the first 30 seconds. So we're not going to do that. Arms across. I tell you, this whole getting old thing around. Arms across the front, arms across the back. My son, who is what, in his mid 30s? Nah, he's late 30s now. He's been saying for the past 10 years, oh, this getting old thing. It's not for me. I do admit it ain't for sissies. Was whoever said that, Betty Davis or whoever had it right. Let's start some, making some bigger swings through the shoulders. Wide open. Stretch the back. Stretch the chest. Bring it around. Get that leg around a little bit more with each one. You're taking it easy, but you are starting to get the heart rate up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hands on the thighs. Whew, let's go with a hip hinge. Just hands on the thighs. Let yourself roll down. Keep the shoulder blades back. Keep the chest out. So first thing I did was chin to chest, shoulders towards the floor. Uh-uh. Nope. Wrong. That's what happens when it's been four days since I've worked out. Roll the hips and push back up. Again, just slide the hands down the thighs. Push the butt right straight back. Keep the shoulder blades back. Chest out. Chin up. Come down just a little bit deeper. Roll and back up again. And one more time. This time, let the shoulders roll towards the floor, chin down, not below the heart. Just let it come down a little bit, looking down, straight down at the floor, stretching out the lower back, roll the hips, and up. <sighs> Kick the foot up, and up. Start to get a feel for your balance. Arm around, small toy soldiers, just bringing that foot up. Rotate the shoulder blades. You want those to stay in a straight line all the way around both ways, stretching out the middle of the back. The middle, middle of the back. Start getting the breathing going. You got upper and lower body going at the same time here, starting to get just a little more effort into it. Little more. And up, up. Start bringing that leg up just a little bit more if you can. Stretch out the hamstrings, stretch out the calf muscles, and up. Warm up the hip flexors to lift that leg, quadriceps, all sorts of lower body stuff going along, along with the spine twisting. And right here, right here, get into a lunge position, arms right straight out, and hand down, arm up. Stretch out that backside going through the side of the torso, up through the arm, and bring it down. Other side, same thing. Going into a warrior, hand on the thigh, bring the back hand up over the top. Deep breath in. And exhale. We're going to go down into a squat. Down and up. Hands right here, right here next to the head, like you're holding your head on. Down. And now push right up to the ceiling. Stretching out the shoulders. Back down, butt back. Roll the hips and push. Rotate the hands as you go up. So as you come down, the palms are, or the uh, fingers are pointing behind you. Roll the hips, drive right straight up, rotating the hands. So the fingers are pointing towards each other and back down one more time. Up and back down. Same thing moving forward. Step it out, rotate the hands, push. Roll the shoulders forward so you can feel the stretch through the upper back. Pull it in, again, rotating those hands. So you step forward and drive hands first, then the shoulder blades. Don't follow it out, knee stays over the toe. You stay with the shoulder blades back and down. Down, shoulder blades down and roll them forward. And bring it back, other side, up and out. And bring it back, stepping, stepping back. Stepping back, bringing the shoulder blades back, squeeze. Feel the nice stretch all the way across the chest and across the shoulders. Bring them back as far as you can. As you come forward, feet together, arms forward like you're hugging the tree. Then back on the other side, same thing. Shoulder blades back, chest open, hands forward. And out, back, stretch it. And out one more time, other side. Step back, got your balance there. You got that knee over the ankle, feet are pointed forward and whew, together. 
So we did the uh, the push forward with the lunge. We're going to do the same thing, but let's bring the hips up first or the legs up using the hip flexors. Knee is right in alignment with the hip and the toe. Everything's pointed forward. This time as you pick the foot up, push and back. A little more challenge on that single leg as you drive the arms out. Bring them back, elbows back, shoulders back, squeeze it tight, forward, balanced, and all the way back, out, and back, out, and back one more time, and you're there. Legs out wide. Let's start out with just the windmill, bring the arms around, rotating through the upper back, rotating the shoulders, not the hips, and up. Other side, same thing. Great stretch. Feel it up the spine. And back. We're going to start going into a side lunge. Little bitty. Knee bends. Butt goes back. Still doing the same thing with the shoulders. Rotate. Coming down on the side, but you're going right straight down towards the floor. And up. Down a little bit more. A little more stretch through the inner thigh. A little more stretch through the hamstrings. Down. Hold. And back up, around, reach towards that toe, and bring it up one more time each side. Down, and up, last one, down, and up. Hands up, right in front. We're gonna go with a one, two, three, and then for four, reach down. Back up, and it's one, two, three, we were supposed to have switched sides. Let's try that again. Other side, one, two, three. It didn't work for me. Let's try it again. One, two, three. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't work out. One, two, three, four. Got it. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three. I got to work out on getting those synced up right. All right. Hands out front, a little going into a stagger step. We're going to do an open book. So just taking that one arm over that extended front leg, roll it back, keep the torso forward. Everything else stays straight, just opening up that shoulder and that arm. Bring it back to center, step it back, other side. Out, reach. Bring that other arm around as far back as you can get it. Open it up and... Back to center. This time we're going to go into a rotation of the whole torso. Shoulders start. Bring the torso around following. It's so weird not having a Christmas tree there. And bring it back. Other side. Step forward. Palm to fist. Shoulders first. Staying in a straight line. Elbows right straight out. Turning the torso. Don't let the knee drop. Don't let the hip turn. And back to center. And bring it in. Going into that hip hinge again, or into a, um, yeah, a hip hinge, as I'm trying to say. It is. But right straight back as you come down the middle. Feel the hamstrings really stretch out on this one. Roll the hips and come forward. Arms up in front. As you go down, push out. Reach out as far as you can. Get that butt back as far as you can. And as you come up, squeeze. Elbows wide. Roll the shoulder blades back into a wide row. Nice and deep. Push forward, butt back, and bring it all together in the middle. Squeeze those shoulder blades together nice and tight, right through the core. One more time. Out, driving the hands out, pushing the butt out, down, and in. Heel to the butt. Arms up overhead at a diagonal. Heel comes up, shoulder blades come back again in that wide row, but this way down, this time down at a diagonal. Squeeze it and forward, back and out. Bring those shoulder blades together as tight as you can get them behind you. Squeeze it, release, squeeze and release. <sighs> Exhaling as you tighten everything up, feel the core and back. All right, arms stay up overhead, this time right straight down as we bring the knee up forward. So this time we're working the lower abs, tightening them up as we squeeze together, push up. Again, exhale. Up and over, down and up, 
So I said, warm up. I meant a little bit of cardio here, up, a little bit of balance, a little bit of everything. Oh, not weightlifting, but that's okay. We're not there. We're not going to do that today. No weights today. Today is all body weight. Bring it down, bring the knee up, push back. And last one right there. Going to keep going. A couple more. Skaters, back. Step back this time. Try to keep that knee over the uh, front ankle instead of letting it go. But hips stay forward. So as you bring that leg up and around, you don't twist and look at a diagonal. You look right straight out in front of you, keeping that knee over the ankle. Hips pointed forward, up and around, getting as much stretch in the hips as you can. You want to get those opened up. Don't let them lock out and up. Step back a little more, keeping that knee over the ankle as much as you can. If you let that go to the outside, what you're doing here is you're strengthening up all the muscles down the leg so that in your neutral position or when you're just standing, when you're just walking, those muscles are all strong in alignment so that it automatically goes there. The legs will automatically go in that alignment, keeping the knees, the hips, and the ankles safe. Around and up, around and back up. Hands up overhead, three left. Bringing up that like a toy soldier, except this time shoulder blades are back, as far back as you can get them. And then up with the foot, down with the arms, and back up. Kick. Actually, it's not a kick, it's a raise. Lifting that leg up, little bend in the knee, arms down. Balancing on that single leg, bringing the arms back. Down. And up. Arms down, leg up, roll the shoulder blades back, open up the chest, down and up. Stay right here with the arms up into a step jack, stepping to the outside, arms across, back up in the middle. Take your time, pick the foot up, keep, every, whoa, keep everything forward. Step out without falling over, reach as far across as you can. Coming back to the middle, arms up, other side across and back in. Out, there we go. Took a little bit to find my balance. It's supposed to. It's supposed to, but we are supposed to find it. Just, it doesn't happen immediately, but we find it quickly. Up and out, up and in. That's why you always get warmed up before you do exercises and find the balance. That's why we always do something where we're on one leg. Before we do anything else, our warm-ups will always include single leg balance so that you can find that balance when we need it for the rest of the workout. Down and up. Last ones, heel up. Tap, up. Each time you come up, see if you can get just a little bit higher with that leg. Turning the knee, turning the hip. Hips stay forward, but the leg in the socket turns. Again, rotating. That hip joint is a universal joint. We want it to move in all directions. Up and up. A few more. And of course, we have to go to the back. Same thing. Tap it. Proprioception. Knowing where that heel is without having to see it. Up, up. Front to back. Right, left to the back, to the front. One, the other, and then to the back. Up and up, back and back. Don't be looking at the feet in the front. You know where they are. You don't have to see them. Your brain can feel where that is in space. It knows where that leg is, so it brings the hand right to it. Back and up, last one. Back, grab your water. Grab your chair. We are sitting down. That was a lot of working. Whew. I'm exhausted. Time for us to sit just for a little bit. So the next ones we're doing, these exercises come from the uh, Arthritis Foundation. I really like these exercises. 
They're great range of motion exercises. They are specifically made for range of motion for tight joints. Starting out small, small shoulder circles, nice and small, and then just arms back, arms forward. You're swinging them, but you're controlling the swing. Bring them back as far as you can get them and bring them up. Make sure you're in your neutral position. See if you can get out to the edge of the chair as you're doing this. Shoulders underneath the ears, looking right straight out in front of you. Just a nice, easy swing. And then you can go with little shoulder circles back. Getting a little bigger, whatever's comfortable for you, whatever makes the shoulders feel good today. And the other way, I played Frisbee golf yesterday and my shoulders are a little tight. I haven't done a whole lot of that. I'm starting to get back into it. But one thing, it really cranks on that shoulder and it needs to get stretched every day now. And around, relax. Arm curls, palms forward, elbows right next to the side of the body. Palms up, tap the shoulders, roll the hands over and push down. Don't let the elbows go back. So as you do this curl, elbows are right next to the side of the torso up. They stay right there. Roll it over and push it back down. Get that rotation through the arm, through the hand, up, rotate, and down. Turn, palms up, bring them up, turn them over, and put them down one more time. But this time, bring them up, and now bring the elbows up as high as you can get them, and then back down, and curl back down. We're gonna do that one more time, up. Elbows up, reach high, and back down. This time we're gonna to go to a curl, but we're gonna bring the elbows up right in front like we just did, hands up, reaching up over the back. So we're gonna get those elbows up just a little higher this time. Don't let them flare out to the outside, keep them straight. Reach back as far as you can. Back down so that the elbows are at 90 degrees, hands pointed up, fingers pointed up, elbows next to the side of the torso, fingers pointed out in front of you, and then down, let's do that again. Up, 90 degrees, fingers pointing forward, 90 degrees at the elbow, fingers pointing up. And now raise the shoulders and reach back with the hands as far as you can, feeling the chest and shoulders open up and bring them back down. It's really important on those exercises when you do those. And anytime you're doing something overhead, don't let the elbows just flare out automatically. If you can bring them in, use these chest muscles to strengthen, to pull the arms in, to keep that alignment. All right. Hand on the outside of the thigh, bring your hand, other hand around to the back of your chair. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out, and we're going to do one of these rotation-y things. So we call it, it's official, official name, rotation -y thing. And roll on back, go to the other side, same thing. Right hand outside of the left knee, left hand back of the chair, and take that back shoulder, roll it. As you bring it around, open up the chest. Chest stays out, shoulder blades stay back. Deep breath in, a little more stretch, and bring it back to center. Roll the shoulders a little bit more. Do whatever you need to to get relaxed after all that rotation. Whatever it takes to get the muscles loosened up again. After stretching, all right, march in place, feet up. Knees, toes, hips in alignment. Don't let yourself get off to the side or knees go a flare out. The knees will usually flare out and the heel will stay in. That is not what you want. You want to bring that foot right straight up, working the hip flexors, working the inner thighs to hold those knees in. Strengthening the knees, strengthening the hips, protecting the ankles up, ankles up, and zup, zup. Get that knee just a little bit higher and a little bit higher, a little at a time. Up, squeeze, don't let the back come forward. As you lift that leg, you don't want the chin coming down to the chest, shoulders stay back. It's just straight bringing that leg up. Feel a little more stretch, feel a little more warmth. You get a little higher each time. Up 
and up. All right. Ankle rotations. My ankles are stiff. Round one way, round the other. Just warming them up, warming them up, getting ready for the heavy stuff. The heavy lifting they're going to be doing. All right. And then out and back in. Flex and extend. Out. Bring it back. Out. And in. Flexible ankles. We lose them. We need them back. We have to have flexible ankles. So important. Other side. It's all part of falls prevention. All part of standing up. Not letting a shove or a trip or whatever taking you off and to the side, knocking you over. You need flexible joints and you need strength to be able to bring it all back to center so you don't fall over. So you can correct and stay upright and extend and contract out and in, out. And back in, bring it on down. We're going to go with head turns. <sighs> Shoulder blades are back. Arms out to the side if you want, up to you. We're going to come, whew, let's try this again. Right up front, arms out to the front if you want. Otherwise, just put the hands on the legs, doesn't matter. I like doing this. I get a little more rotation this way. Shoulder blades stay back. Chest is out. Follow the fingers around the side. Roll the shoulder blades back, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. Feeling the stretch through the extended side of the neck and bringing it back. This time going to the left. As we do, stretching out the right side of that neck, make sure the shoulder blades are back. Little arch in the lower part of the back. Squeeze it, open up, and relax back to center. One more time, each side. This time get a little more rotation, which means get that arm back just a little bit farther. Chin will follow. Chin will follow. Keep the shoulder blades back. Feel a little more stretch through the neck. Back to center. Keep the hands out there if you're using them. And back. Again, really get that arm back as far as you can. Turning that head as far as it'll go. Bring it back to center. And down. As far as I know, and as far as I've seen, the arms can go back farther than the neck. So if your arms are back as far as you can get them and your neck and your head is following, the eyes are following the fingers, you're going to get a great stretch in the neck. All right, ear to shoulder, starting on that right side. Let's start with neutral position to make sure that we don't crank the neck too hard. We're going to look right straight forward. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Bringing that ear right straight down to the side, feeling the stretch on the opposite side. We're on the right side with the ear, push down on the left with the hand. Drive it down, drive it out to the side, whatever's comfortable for you. Wherever you feel the most stretch, move it around a little bit. Down, a little more stretch on that right side, or a little more contraction on that right side, giving you a little more stretch on the left. And bring it back to center. Shake, shake, shake it out. Neutral position, shoulder blades back, chest out. Left ear, left shoulder, right hand, right straight down. Up and back down again. Look for the stretch. You should feel it from the base of the head, down the neck, down the trapezoids on the top of the shoulders, through the shoulder, going down to the upper arm. It's a nice long stretch. Those, uh, that's a huge sheathing of muscles that goes along the side of that neck. And bring it back up. One more time each side. I need to shake it out every time. Otherwise, I get stretched in one position. Everything seems to stay there. So I got to loosen it up and get ready for the other side. Left ear, left. Nope. Right ear, right shoulder, left hand down. And stretch. And bring it back up. On the other side we go. Ear, shoulder, arm stretch. I shook it out before I started. Hopefully you did too if you need that. And bring it to center. Head up, chin up towards the ceiling, eyes up towards the ceiling. 
roll the shoulder blades back. So as soon as you got the head up there, you're looking up, you're noticing the footprints on the ceiling. I have them. We're going to rotate the head. So looking up, rotation, and then bringing that chin down to the shoulder. Back up to the top, right straight up the side, looking up laterally and then turning the head, doing a rotation, bring it back to center and down. Roll the shoulders out a little bit. We're gonna do that again, this time looking right up at the ceiling, turning the head the other way, rotating the chin, rotating the head and then bring the chin down to the shoulder. Looking straight over that shoulder, back up, overhead and back to the middle. Same thing, chin to chest. This one really important. It's really easy, really easy on this one that as the chin comes forward, so do the shoulders because these muscles are tight across the front. When the chin is down to the chest, you want to get those shoulder blades back. The chin's going to come up, get it down as far as you can as you have the shoulder blades back. Get that chest out. And then again, chin comes up or rotates first to the side and then up, right straight up the side. And back down, looking down along the side and then following the floor all the way down between the legs, stop, shake it out. To the other side we go. Any full movement from one side to the other, it's okay. But I'd like to take that stop in between, make sure we've got everything loosened up before we go the opposite direction. So shoulder blades are back, chin is down. It is also recommended through the arthritis foundation that you don't try to stress joints in two directions all at the same time. Up and back down again. So instead of going in full circles, you wanna do part of it, half of it stop, relax, rest, get everything back in order, and then go to the other side. You get the most out of each stretch that way. All right, shoulder shrugs, looking right straight out in front of you, bringing the shoulders up right underneath the ears, using these trapezoids and the muscles on the side of the neck to lift, 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 lift as high as you can get them, looking out right straight in front, and then bringing them all the way down as far as you can get them. Shoulder blades back. So as you come down after doing this with the uh, shoulders up around the ears, as you come down, they're gonna be forward. Roll the shoulder blades back and use those muscles underneath the shoulder blades to pull them down towards the butt. Feel the stress through the chest, uh, chest, upper chest, very right under the neck type of thing out to the sides. Bring the shoulders, elbows, shoulders, shoulders up to the ears again. These things right here, those, bring them up to these things right here. Nice and tight, tighten those muscles up and then all the way down, shoulder blades back. And relax. Now, now let's roll the shoulders. Exaggerated movement, so far back, down, forward, and up. So you're rolling that whole shoulder socket back, down, forward, and up. Opposite direction, taking it back and going forward. And man, that felt good. Shake it out. Palms forward, thumbs up, hands at the side, little bend in the elbows. We're going to bring the arms up overhead in a sweep, a nice, easy sweep. Most important thing, palms out so the shoulder blades are back. Bring the hands up overhead, palms together as close as you can get them. Shoulder blades are still back, chest still feels the stretch. Bring them down, palms point to the front as the shoulder blades stay back, bring them all the way down. Again, up on the side, shoulder blades are back. Roll them up. Palms together at the top. Hands are just a little bit behind the head and 
bring them back down again. Feel the stretch through the front of the shoulders, chest, and back down. Check that out. Arms out to the side, diagonally. We're going to bring the one hand up, palm forward, up, palm to the side, reaching up and over the top. Sits bones stay flat on the chair. Don't let them come up. What you want to do, what's going to, body's going to want to do is roll to the side. Like, look at how far down I can reach. It's not about that. It's about stretching out these muscles along the side of the torso, up through the shoulder and in the arm. Reach up and over. Big arc over the top of the head. And bringing that arm back, palm forward, thumb up. Coming up on the other side as the other goes down. Palm facing the side this time. And when you get up to the top, it's like you're putting the palms together, just like we did on that warm up for the stretch. Take a deep breath, fill up the lungs, stretch out the ribs, and bring it back down. And over. Legs out wide, hands on thighs. Roll the shoulder blades back. Keeping the chest out, keeping the hands on the thighs. Let yourself come down. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, coming down just a little bit deeper. Stomach between the legs. And use the hands to push back up again. Seated, we're going to take and walk the hips to the edge of the chair and then back again. So as you can tell, we're working our way down the body, shoulders, neck, chest, into the hips now, forward, walk them forward, and see if you can exaggerate that movement back keeping one sits bone right flat on the chair as the other one goes back as far as you can get it. And then walk them forward, same thing. As far as you can get with each movement, opening up those hip joints. So important, out and back again. We're gonna take and Right foot out, picking it up, rolling it out to the side. Get that knee and toe in alignment. Wherever that is that you can get the knee above the ankle so it's pointing in the same direction as the toe, not collapse. So what you don't want to be is knee in, foot out. You want that knee to be right over the toe as you point it out to the side or at a diagonal. So you want to feel the stretch on the inner thigh as you do it. Shoulder blades are back. Don't lose your posture. Walk it in. Other side, same thing. Up and out. Knee over ankle, all pointed right in the same direction, diagonally. Pick it up. Bring it in. This time, see if you can get a little more. Grab underneath the thigh and bring it out just a little bit more, using the arm to help get a little leverage. Drop it down, tap the toe, bring it back up. Into the middle, same on the other side. So for me, the right leg, the stationary leg, that sits bone doesn't move. My hips don't turn. I don't feel any movement coming out of that other side of my body. Just the one that's moving, just that left side. Out, tap the toe, up and in. And bring it back. Going back to that right leg, putting the hand behind the thigh, bring it up. And rotations. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Really working those hips hard. And around. And down, other side, same thing. Pick it up, roll it, and bring it back again. All right, so we did those uh, marches at the warm up. We're going to do a little more aggressive this time. Grab onto the shins or to the thighs, whichever works for you. Bringing the shoulder blades back, chest out. Bring that leg in as close as it'll come. Keeping alignment. This is one where that knee really wants to go out and the inner thigh will stretch out. You need to keep everything lined up if you need to. Hand on the knee to hold it straight with the foot. So I'm taking my hand, bringing my ankle over one way, using my hand to bring the knee over on the other side. 
bring it all into the middle. This is the stretch you want because this will stretch out the muscles through the legs and through the hips and drop down. So what happens is we get really weak. Inner thigh gets weak, knee stays in, or uh, heel stays in, foot points out when we walk. So we have this tendency to walk with the toes pointed out. These muscles get really short on the inner thigh. So what we want to do is make sure that we stretch that out to keep that alignment when we walk up. So it's not just having the muscles strong in alignment, but it's having them flexible enough that they can stretch out where they need to. You can have all the strength in the world, but if you don't have the flexibility to move that much in the direction you need to, it's not going to matter. They're not going to get there. So you got to take and do that. It's really important. And if you're just sitting around sometime, anytime, just bring that knee up and watch the alignment. Make sure get that knee in as close to that torso or uh, thigh as close to the torso as possible. And up, same on the other side, keeping that alignment right straight forward. And back down, leg extensions, fingers intertwined behind the thigh. Leg up, shoulder blades back, extending at the knee. Again, here's one, boom, boom, other direction. We're gonna bring the leg out, not letting the torso, because if we let the torso roll forward, that foot will come up higher, but we're not accomplishing anything except hurting the lower back, putting it in a bad position. So it's bringing that foot up, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, calf muscles, back of that extended leg, hold, and back down, other side, same thing. Hands behind the thighs, right straight out. Here again, toe wants to go out, heel wants to come in, keep them in a straight line. Knee wants to go out to the side. You're gonna feel a stretch in the hamstrings. You're gonna feel a stretch in the back of the thigh. As you do this, bring the toe back and you'll feel a stretch in the calf as well. And back down again. Foot right straight out. <clears throat> Excuse me, find your neutral position. Windshield wipers one leg at a time. Knee and toe follow. We're really, really concentrating on hips here. Knee and toe stay in a straight line as you come down to the side. So this isn't just the foot going from side to side. It is the entire leg all the way up, turning here within the hip socket and around and back. Around, <clears throat> back to center. One more time outside and in. Other foot, same thing, knee toe. Concentrate on that. I always want to make sure that they're going in the same direction so that all the movement is happening within the hip joint. Out and in. Toe points out, get a little more with it. Feel the muscles working on the outside of the leg to help pull that out just a little more. And then back in, feel the muscles on the inner thigh. So as much as we're working the hip flexor, we're also or working the hips. We're also working the muscles on the inside and the outside of the leg, strengthening up the knees out and back in, out and in. Feet hip width apart, heels up, working them muscles in the back of the leg, lower leg, those calf muscles, bring them up. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Bring it up, squeeze and drop it down. So we're working flexibility in the ankle. We're working strength in the back of the lower legs. Up. And back down. The other place you're gonna feel a stretch is through the uh, arches of the feet. Up, bring those heels up as high as you can, keeping the toes flat on the floor, hinging on the ball of the foot. And nice and slow, back down again. And I didn't cue it, but make sure whenever you come up with the heels up that you've got the ball, the foot inside to outside on the floor. This time we're going to bring the toes up. And when I say toe, I mean every part of the foot except the heel. Roll the shoulders back. And back down. I got accused of being a little too literal when they said toes up. And it's like, do you mean the toes or the foot? 
You knew what I meant. So when I say toes, bring the foot up. I get yelled at for asking the question. Feel the muscles working in the front of the lower legs, those shin muscles lifting the toe up and back down again, feeling the stretch in the arches through the toes, up, calf muscles, get them up as high as you can and back down. Not much raise. When you lift those feet up, you can't get off the floor very much. 30 degrees max. Up. And back down. Nice and slow. Outward. And inward. You can get the knee involved in this one. Roll out to the outside. Roll that ankle so that the toe or the sole of the foot is pointing towards the other foot and then up and in the other direction. Again, you don't get much, much movement here, but you do get the stretch in the inside of the ankle, which you need, which you need. And other way. And down, other foot, same thing. Sole the foot in, inversion. Sole the foot out, eversion. This is the one I feel that I just don't do enough. And a lot of people, when they fall, they rip the muscles on the outside of the, on the outside of the foot, they tear the ligaments. You need to get more strength and more stretch in them. And this is going to do that up the other way. Oh my goodness. We only have two minutes left. And Bring it back in, shake that out. Feet wide, we're gonna do two stretches. Shoulder blades back, chest out, hands on the thighs, bring the chest right straight down between the two. Flat back, raise, or raise, lower the arms. The opposite of raise, lower the arms down towards the floor, let the chin drop just a little bit. Weight is in the ball of the foot to the heels and just let the shoulders drop down. Feel the stretch through the hamstrings, the glutes and the hips. Take the hands, walk them up the shins to the thighs, push up through the arms, keeping the shoulder blades back, not using the lower back to come back up. What we like to do is bend forward and then use the head first, and then use that in the back to lift us up instead of these big muscles in the quadriceps, which we do that by lifting with the back straight. These muscles shorten up in the back, in the, uh, back chain here lifting us up as we come to the top, arms up overhead, deep breath in, fingers intertwined, palms away. Still my favorite stretch, all the way, shoulders back, chest out. Deep breath in, down on the right side first, bringing that left arm up over the top in an arc, feel the stretch through the rib cage, tailbone does not come off the chair, and back up to center, down on the other side. This is not a big stretch. It's a lot of stretch, but it's not big movement. Again, deep breath in, stretching out the rib cage, filling up the lungs, and bring yourself back up to the top by using that top hand, right hand in this case, and bring yourself back up. Arms down underneath the thighs, roll the shoulders down, squeeze, and back up overhead one more time. Deep breath in, stomach out. Feel the lungs open up and exhale as you come down on the side, sweeping the arms down, rolling the shoulder blades, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders back. Flutter, flutter. Down we come. Thank you guys for being here.